Hi everyone, so I felt like doing a video for a while now about the toxicity of the vinyl community or the snobbery of the vinyl community on YouTube and I wanted to do this video because personally me as a young female in the vinyl community there's not many of us and definitely over the last year of last half year six months of posting videos I have definitely experienced the snobbery and the high horse nature of some vinyl community people firsthand because I get comments about certain things especially regarding that I'm young so I don't really know anything or it's implied because I'm female I don't really know anything and I always wanted to post videos in the vinyl community because I wanted to diversify the face of the vinyl community on YouTube as much as I personally could as one individual because there's just not many people that look like me that are posting videos about records on YouTube so I wanted to change that and if I could make one person that was watching my videos that looked a bit more like me my age my demographic or whatever it is feel comfortable enough to start their own collection or to post about their collections then I felt like I had done my job and I saw this video it was posted by Jenna Brown it's called a rant about snobby vinyl collectors and the vinyl community and I thought that responding to it as someone that has been in the vinyl community for about six months now I felt like I could probably add quite a bit of my own experience and opinions on the subject in reaction to a video okay here we go some communities are toxic big sh yeah <laughs> yes there are toxic people in the vinyl community just like there's toxic people in any community I think it's just what number of people what percentage of the community are we talking about here that's the important thing when it comes to the vinyl community shocker right i bet no one else in the world has come to that realization i think we're all well aware that there are a lot of communities that are very toxic that's not to say that an entire community is toxic because yeah. for the most part fandoms and any sort of community or something is pretty positive and the people are pretty accepting yeah, I agree with that. I feel like there are quite a number of people in the vinyl community that have been really loving, very accepting of me. I'm not, I'm not dissing that at all. I totally agree with that. But I feel like the toxicity and sometimes the snobbiness of a certain community can outweigh the positive. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I think especially as, and I don't, I think that she also posts other videos and when you post videos for everyone to see, for everyone to watch, for everyone to comment on, you open yourself up to criticism. And so, especially as younger people, you can have a lot of older people that are quite snobby in the comments. And some of these people that are snobby, they have their own channels and they actually post their own videos full of snobbiness. So I started collecting vinyls, right? Right now I have eight. And see, here's, here's the thing. Okay, so she says she started collecting vinyls. She has eight at the moment, right? She used the word vinyls there. There's a whole thing in the vinyl community where if you say the plural of the word vinyl is vinyls, people will correct you and be like, it's not vinyls, it's vinyl. When I started collecting, when I started putting videos up, I would say the word vinyls. I would use the word vinyls. And I had people in the comments just like straight away wanted to correct me, fix me on that. It's like, why does it matter? You know what I'm trying to say. And I think it's fine if people want to correct because they just like want you to learn and stuff but there's definitely fine line where people and people cross that line where they they say it in a very rude way they're very condescending there's a community of vinyl collectors of the vinyl community and you can't say anything incorrect you can't do anything incorrect at all or people will get on your ass and be like what are you doing you fix that blah 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 we shouldn't have to police people so much it's just it's ridiculous <laughs> I got two new ones yesterday. One of them is right there. Billie Hi, Eilish. 27. Billie Eilish. Love that. 17, Billie Eilish. Mm -hmm. Since right now. I love the song Ocean Eyes on that. So good. Now I have a record player and eight vinyl records. I love wanted it. to make sure that I can maintain them and keep them safe because I don't want my records to collect dust or anything over time. So I've been looking okay. around and watching videos about how to like store your vinyls properly and how to protect them. You should yeah, okay. <laughs> I know where this is going already. I myself made a video called how to vinyl I'm not even trying to plug myself right now but i made a i made a video called how to vinyl because i wanted to make a video that wasn't from a snobby person essentially and there's a lot of people in the comments of that video that said wow this is the first video 
from someone in the vinyl community explaining how to how to vinyl essentially that doesn't come off condescending that doesn't come off snobby and that's what I tried to do I wanted to make a video because there's just there's none out there pretty much where it explains without p making people feel bad for not knowing anything it seems like a very hard thing for people to do for some reason it shouldn't be it should be quite easy in my opinion to be able to share knowledge without coming off snobby so that's literally why I made that video is because I myself watched a bunch of videos about how to vinyl and I was trying myself to learn how to do it more and learn my stuff because I was making videos about it myself and I wanted to know what I was talking about and I watched so many videos where it just made me feel so bad if I didn't know things it's just it's not it's not it it's not it chief so I made that video myself because I wanted people like her people like me in the future to be able to watch a video and be like wow this doesn't actually seem that daunting <laughs> because it's not it's not daunting it doesn't have to be Usually you see people display their vinyl vertically with the spines out, but my shelf is a bookshelf and vinyls are really big and my shelf isn't deep enough to store them with the spines out, so I have them stored with the covers out. They are standing okay. upright, so they're not really leaning against each other because it is bad to have them lean too far against each other. But I can see them in the background there. It's whether it's leaning on the side with the spines pointing out or leaning with the covers coming out, they're still like they're leaning on each other the same amount. So that's not even a big deal. Like as long as they're vertical. Or to have them stacked on top of each other. I made a video about my very small vinyl collection and I did make the mistake of having them stacked on top of each other. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they will attack you. They will attack you, man. There's just there's people that, yeah, they, they see one vinyl on top of another and, it, and they lose their minds. <laughs> Please don't come at me. I know not to do that now. I kind of like the way I decided to organize. The fact that she has to say that though, that she has to ask people not to come for her because she's not doing it. It's like, what, what are people doing? Like why? It makes it so uncomfortable. For people that are new to the community, that don't really know what they're doing yet, everyone has been there. Whether you're 60 or 20, everyone's been at that point where they just started and you don't know everything about everything. You can't crucify people for not knowing everything because you have to start somewhere. Oh my god. And underneath that, one of the records I got yesterday, Notion by Tash Sultana, that's on display. And Tash Sultana? She's a she's a Australian artist. That's cute. Since I am pretty new to this whole vinyl thing, I'm not intending in like getting into the vinyl community on YouTube or anything. I just like music and I think it's cool to physically hold the music in your hand. And I like watching the records. I totally agree. And see that's that's an issue with people. That's apparently not a good enough reason to get in, in, into vinyl. If, if you're into vinyl, apparently you have to be into finding the most pristine, beautiful sound of music that you could ever hear. And you need to have the most perfect setup and the most perfect record collection. It's ridiculous. I am the same as Jenna Brown. I literally just buy records because I just want to support the artists and have a physical representation of music that I love. You want to collect records? Cool, go collect records. That's it. It shouldn't be... Well, what's the point of collecting records if you're not like got the perfect best sound? Especially when it's a colored one. I like colors. But like I said at the <laughs> beginning, I like colors too. Yeah, it's good. Some communities can be very snobby and toxic, and I think the vinyl community is one of them. Yes. I watched a video. I am in the vinyl community, and I 100% agree. <laughs> Today, about like 10 mistakes that new vinyl collectors make. It was a short video, but literally the first thing that he mentioned is a mistake that new collectors make, is buying a suitcase all-in-one turntable record player. Yeah, okay. Excuse me? He was like, oh, don't buy an all-in-one suitcase record player because the quality, the sound quality is garbage. It's gonna ruin your records and you just shouldn't buy one. I bought this lovely suitcase record player as something for me to just play my records on in my room. I wasn't really super concerned about having the best sound quality and I didn't want a record player where I had to plug them into external speakers because I don't have room for that. If yeah. I wanted to listen to music on good speakers, I would just listen to it in the living room. I That's the thing, is that people that have decades 
upon decades of time to collect up these records, to collect up this equipment. They have decades upon decades to understand and learn about it so they know what to buy and what works and what doesn't. They have the space because they have houses that they've bought, the money because they work full time, they've been working full time for a while. These people want to tell people like Jenna, people like me, <laughs> that in our young 20s or teenage years, we have no money, we hardly have any space. We just assigned to learn about the whole entire thing of vinyl collecting. They want to tell us what we should and shouldn't play our records on. This is the thing, is that everybody's experience is different. Everyone has their own reasons for why they do things and they shouldn't have to explain themselves to other people. So Jenna has her own reason for why she does it. She doesn't have the money, she doesn't have the space. She doesn't want good quality. Why is there a rule in the vinyl community of to own records and play records? You have to play it on this specific record player. I get that people are trying to make sure that I don't ruin my records but at the same time it's the thing of like the way it the way that people say it and the way that people just sort of assume that you're doing the wrong thing because you don't know any better rather than maybe I can't do any better right now because of money because of space I just wish there was a bit more empathy and consideration for different people's situations in the vinyl community, it would be much appreciated. <laughs> and they make it sound like suitcase record players are just the absolute worst thing ever. Yes. When they're not, okay? Calm down. I've had- Okay, I- I get both sides of this. So people that have listened to records for a really long time, as you experience more and more music, that you play, you you can notice a difference, and I get that. I notice that there's actually quite a difference in all-in-one players like Crosley's and really nice record playing setups. So I really understand that, but at the same time, it's just annoying that if anyone has any Crosley, we need to get on them and be like, stop doing that, you can't do that. Police people into only playing records on certain players. I think what would solve this issue is just if everyone let everyone else do whatever they want right? When that's all the issue, people like Jenna that want to play it on their Crosley, they can play it on their Crosley. Who cares? Me, if I want to play it on my all-in-one, sometimes I can do that. Who cares? If someone wants to play it on this beautiful setup that they spent so much money and hours on, they can do that. We're not telling them not to do that. Everyone has their reasons for doing things. That's just it. Everyone can do whatever they want to do, as long as it's not negatively affecting other people. Which people playing their records on an all-in-one system, it doesn't negatively affect anyone else. It's just how they want to listen to their music. And whether it ruins their records or not, that's their own decision. I think it's okay to inform people. In my how-to vinyl video, I informed people that if you play it on those records, you are going to ruin your records eventually. But at the same time, we shouldn't be making people feel bad for whatever they want to do. It's people's own decisions. You can inform them, but that's it. You shouldn't be making them feel bad for anything. And I watched a video about the pros and cons of the suitcase record player, and like, the cons were always like, the sound quality is absolute garbage. When it's really not. It sounds fine. And it's, and that's the thing, is like, it's garbage through some people's ears because they know how good their player is but I like, I can't I don't you can't I think once again the only issue that I have with this is just the way that people say it I think a way to say it politely and in a nice way is to say you will be sacrificing quality of the sound and that's it people don't have to say the sound quality is horrible like chill Chill, bro. In the video I watched about the 10 mistakes that new vinyl collectors make, when he talked about how you shouldn't get a suitcase record player, they make it sound like it's so bad. And they make you feel bad for having one. Yes. That's how I felt. Yes. It was like... Yeah, exactly. It's it's not like you can you can have your own opinion, but don't make other people feel bad for still having it. I totally I totally agree with her right now. Don't get a suitcase record player because it'll ruin your vinyls and it's trash. And I'm just like But I have one and it works fine. And it was only like seventy dollars. Why are you <laughs> making me feel bad? Exactly. And people in the Exactly. It's it's the that's that's it. No need to make people feel bad for it. She has eight records. Why would she spend $600 on an amazing record player? It literally makes no sense, in my opinion, to invest so much money in a hobby that you literally just started. 
the comments were like that too. There were a lot of people who were like, I'm just a broke teenager. I don't have the money for a fancy record player that all of you elite vinyl collectors have. Don't let all of the elites make you feel bad for wanting one or already having one. Yeah. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And th Exactly. Uh, 100% agree. This is where I'm starting. In the future? Yeah, sure, I'll upgrade. But, like, in the future, yeah. not anytime soon. Yeah, I yeah, exactly. I'm the, I'm the exact same. Like, I am looking now to upgrading my system soon because I feel like I have a good amount of records now. I have over 100 records. I feel like it's time to upgrade my system. But that's the thing. That's her decision. That's my decision. It's not anyone else's decision. <laughs> I feel like the vinyl community is full of a lot of snobs yep. who have like hundreds of records and they act so like pretentious about all of the records that they have and they have this super fancy record player with these awesome speakers and all of the records are in super great condition and they're like oh you have a Victrola suitcase record player? <laughs> Ew. You're so Oh my god, this girl's funny, bro. That's the whole situation, is people like that. Personally, what I do, what my answer is, is being someone in the vinyl community that is young, that tries to not be a snob about it as much as I can, tries to actively say, you know what, I don't really know as much as everybody else, but that's okay. I'm just honest about it. And if people are really snobbish to me, Personally, I try and respond to those comments with as much love as I can or do I just block that user from my channel if they're just outright rude and it's just ridiculously unneeded. But yeah, I feel like the least I can do is try and just create videos of my own in the Vinyl community and make the community a little bit more empathetic and understanding and appreciative of different stages of people's lives and where they're at with their vinyl collection. If everyone was the exact same and everyone had the exact same setup with the exact same perfect situation going on, vinyl collecting would be super boring. The whole point is that everyone has their own opinions on things, their preferences on things. That's what makes music so great is that it is subjective. And I get that people would say, but the perfect setup isn't subjective. That's objective. Like you have a good audio system or you don't. Yes, but some people don't care about having good audio. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. So poor. If you were really passionate about collecting records, then you would get a super fancy record player like the one I got for $500. Not including these super awesome speakers that I got for an extra $400. Literally. I've had to t wait so long and plan so much to get my new setup because it's just going to cost so much money. <laughs> There are so many other little things you also have to get or people are going to be like, why don't you have that? Why don't you do this? Blah, 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 blah. So please don't make beginners feel bad Thank for you. having a suitcase record player. Yes, beginners. Keyword, beginners. Or displaying their vinyls with the covers out because I feel that's like people stupid. would have an issue with that too. I that's, but that's ridiculous. The fact that she watched some vinyl community videos and now she's afraid to do anything slightly different from the norm of what all the big collectors do because she's scared everyone's going to come for her. That's ridiculous. That's the signs of a toxic community. If no one feels like they can do anything different from the norm without being attacked and they've got to explain every single move they do. I don't know, but I assume some people who are just really toxic would have an issue with me having my vinyls displayed with that the covers sucks. out instead of horizontally that sucks this sucks this sucks the fact that she feels like she has to put in i don't know whether vinyls vinyl or vinyls because she's scared people are going to come in and be like you use the wine vinyls it's not vinyls it's vinyl blah, blah, blah. i feel like when i started this video it seemed like i was going to drop a fat list of communities that are really toxic but i really just wanted to talk about the vinyl community based on videos that i've seen so far the vinyl elitists sometimes make you feel bad about not having a big collection or having a suitcase record player I just people make her feel bad for not having a big collection. That's so bad. Like what? 
what? I'm just annoyed now at this community. <laughs> People doing that? I, I haven't personally seen that myself. I've never felt that bad for only having 100 records, which is a smaller collection than most people in the vinyl community. I feel like people are pretty accepting of that, but that sucks that she feels like that. I just thought it was really annoying and snobby. I'm just gonna go about my business and enjoy my records and my lovely blue suitcase record player. Closing thoughts. This whole situation's annoying. And the thing is, I feel nervous to put this video out. That's how I feel, because I'm scared of this community. She has a lot of balls to upload this. I'm really proud of her. She's said more things than I think a lot of people in the vinyl community have the courage to say. I feel like I pretty much agree with nearly everything she said. Um, of course it's okay to want good audio quality, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say people that want good audio quality are annoying. I'm saying the people that make other people feel bad for not wanting good audio quality or the best audio quality or the perfect audio quality. Anyone that makes anyone feel like they can't do something out of gatekeeping vinyl records and vinyl collecting, it's, it's not needed. No one wants that. And the situation is, is that the vinyl revival is happening and there's more and more younger people getting into records and I'm sorry to say it but eventually this newer generation will be the generation that takes on records and takes on vinyl records. So if you are older and you're into records I appreciate it I have my dad and my auntie that have their own collections and I love it I have already taken on my auntie's collection and I love it eventually I'll take my dad's collection on I really appreciate that but at the same time in the way that I appreciate older people and the knowledge and the collections that they bring to the table and the love that they have for the records older people need to appreciate younger people and what they can bring to the vinyl community and to vinyl collecting in general it might not be the exact same thing that older people or older generations have done, it might be a bit different, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I think it's actually a good thing that it's gonna be different. Like, things can't stay the same forever. Like, they eventually need a change. I know there are a lot of older people in the vinyl community and they collect vinyls that love younger people. There's so many people that comment on my videos, like it's so cool to see someone younger getting into records and loving records and stuff, but there's, there's definitely another group of people that aren't cool with it. I'm telling you the truth here. That's what I think. Anyway, I hope that this maybe changed the minds or got people thinking that are older in the community if they're watching this and I also hope that it helped young people feel a bit better <laughs> about their collections and how they're going with their collections because people shouldn't feel bad for the way that they collect. Everyone's trying their best. Janet Brown, thank you so much for uploading this video. I really appreciate it. It gave me the push that I needed to put out my own video about this topic and talk my piece about it. Feel much better now talking about it and i got it off my chest and i just really congratulate you for your honesty and just how straightforward you are about the whole thing it's it's hard to come by on youtube honestly not just in the vinyl community but in general it's hard to come by this honesty i appreciate it for that reason and yeah i hope everyone has a lovely day i love the vinyl community so much this isn't meant to be that i dislike the vinyl community i just like anything have my problems with it still nothing is perfect that's just the way things are so i hope you guys will enjoy Enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye bye.